Our last video proved that the GT3 is fantastic on track. Now it's time to see if that performance translates to the road. And it's here that we can finally focus on the 911R and quite how this new GT3 fits into the Porsche Motorsport dynasty. There are questions to be answered. Is this car just a 911R with a wing? Is it better than a 911R? Or is it just too concerned with going fast? We know it's so good on the track already. But maybe that's what it's all about. And on the road, it won't be just as free in giving up that enjoyment as the R. Well, it definitely isn't just an R with a wing for quite a few reasons, actually. Firstly, the steering is much heavier in this car than the R. The R's really hyper reactive. I think just like on the track, it's the engine that really separates this car again. They've worked so hard on this motor. They're so proud of it. And it shares so much with a race car. And you feel that. And the sport, when you get on the throttle at say four or 5,000 RPM, it's beyond, it's beyond the old four liter engine. The character of the top end of the engine, you get the change earlier so you get that real scream from just over 6,000 instead of like seven and a half I think it was before. So the engine, the engine's better. End of, the engine is better. For me, the way the chassis works is better too. I would rather have this really locked down and natural feel than the slightly, slightly synthetic agility of the R. To me, this is this is going fast. This is Porsche wanting the car to go fast. But the byproduct of that is that the car just feels on it, and you feel on top of it, and you feel totally involved in what it's doing. One area where this car doesn't give up its enjoyment as freely as they are is the gearbox. So the PDK is better. It's quicker, but what I like about it, the PDK Sport mode used to give you this big surge on upshifts, which just felt a bit weird to be honest with you. They seem to have got rid of that, so now you just get bang, really clean, decisive shifts, but none of the silly surge in between gears. But as before, what PDK does that's so spectacular is that speed at the top end. And that means you tend to drive always looking for that. So you don't actually enjoy the torque until you sort of slow down and start to think about that mid-range so much. You're always searching for this top end, which means you're always traveling bloody fast. And you're sort of anticipating these little moments of magic. And I think with the manual box, appreciate that this car serves up more than moments of magic. I, I expect that when I drive the manual box, I'll just enjoy everything that it serves up more often, rather than looking for that little split second of joy. Just revel in the fact that this car just serves up joy all over the place. We couldn't have done much more of a comprehensive test, could we? We've mucked about on track and found out this thing has so much balance over the limit. It's brilliant. We've driven it flat out on track and found out it's unbelievably quick around a lap. We've driven it in the dry and today we've driven it on these brilliant roads, but in mist, fog, rain, damp, soaking wet, almost dry. I mean, I think we fully know this car. And what we can say about it is that as ever, Porsche have taken a brilliant car and just thrown the goalposts way in the distance again. I don't know how they do it, but they just up the ante every time. This car is mega. I can't wait to drive it with a manual box. And if you paid half a million quid for a 911R last week, you're a f idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Probably can't.
not end on that. <laughs> of course, nothing is quite that black and white. The R remains a fantastic car and a collector's dream. But to drive, the GT3 for me has it covered. Such is the relentlessness of the 911's evolution. <laughs>